Okay. Hi everyone. This is Santosh Kumar from Sims Academy. Today we are going to do the problems uh, based on the work done by the constant force uh, in the chapter of work, energy, and power. Okay, let us see the first problem. A body of mass, one kg, is thrown upwards with a velocity 20 meters per second. It momentarily comes to rest after attaining a height of 18 meters. How much energy is lost due to a friction? Okay, first of all, what we have to see here is that What are the given things? First, mass is given as 1 kg. And uh, it is thrown up with the initial velocity as 20 meters per second. Now, let us find the kinetic energy over here. That is half m u square. That is half into 1 into 20 into 20. That equals to, to 1 to 10, 20 into 10. It is 200 joules. That means, according to work energy theorem, whatever the work that is done is equal to change in kinetic energy. As the final velocity of the object is zero, hence uh, change in kinetic energy is equals to the initial kinetic energy. Hence, we equate the work done is equal to the initial kinetic energy, which is equal to 20 joules. Now, while the object is moving up, some energy is lost due to air friction. Okay, that means the work done that is equals to the work done against the gravity plus the work done against the air friction. Now we are asked to find the work done against the air friction. Okay, the work done against the gravity WG equals to as we know mgh. Here the height is given as 18 meters, hence wg equals to 1 into, uh, he asks us to take the value of g as 9.8 into height, it is 18. Even though it is, uh, he asked to take uh, the value of g as 9.8, but the options are given in the round figure. Okay, hence uh, I would take uh, the value of G as 10. That is 10 into 18, it is 180 jobs. Now the total work is 200 equals to work done against the gravity is 180 jobs plus work done due to friction. We need to find out, hence work done due to friction is 200 minus 180, it is 20 joules. We have the option A over here. I hope you got a clarity regarding this. Let us move on to the next problem. This is the second problem. Here it is given as a block, uh, a block of mass 5 kg is resting on a smooth surface. At what angle of force of 20 newtons be acted on the body so that it will acquire a kinetic energy of 40 joules after moving four meters. Okay. Initially, whatever the things those are given, let us mention it. Mass equals to 5 kg. Here it is given. And uh, 
the force is uh, 20 newtons. It acquires the kinetic energy of 40 joules. Ke equals to 40 joules. And uh, moving uh, 4 meters. Displacement is given as 4 meters. Now we are asked to find the value of uh, this angle at which the force is being acted on the body. Okay. As initially the body is at rest, its initial velocity u equals to zero. Hence, the work done is equals to the final kinetic energy, which equals to 40 joules. Now, the second thing is that as we got the value of the work done, here mass is given, but we don't require the mass to calculate the angle. We define the work as uh, the dot product of force and displacement, or we even say it as Fs cos theta. Work is nothing but the change in kinetic energy, 40 joules. F, uh, it is 20 into 4 meters is the displacement into cos theta equals to 40. Okay, four ones, four tens, zero, zero gets canceled over here. Hence, cos theta equals to, uh, we have one by two. And for what value of theta, cos theta equals to one by two, it is cos 60 equals to one by two. Hence, the value of theta is 60 degrees. This is the option C here. Shall we move on to the next next uh, problem? Okay. We shall move on to the next problem here. It is given a body moves uh, uh, a distance of 10 meters along a straight line under the action of a force of five Newtons. If the work done is 25 joules, the angle which the force makes with the direction of motion of the body is. Here, okay, initially let us write the things, whatever it is given in the question. Displacement or distance, it is given as 10 meters under the action of a force that is five newtons. Uh, work done is also given as 25 joules. As we discussed previously, the work done is the dot product of force and displacement or W equals to Fs cos theta we mentioned, or if you want to write like this, okay, F dot S or Fs cos theta. Here, what is F? 5 into s it is 10 into cos theta equals to w how much 25 5 ones 5 5 is 25 5 ones here 5 to 10 if we send this two under multiplication to that side we get cos theta equals to 1 by 2 again for what value of theta cos theta is 1 by 2 cos 60 equals to 1 by 2 hence the value of theta is 60 degrees and the option is c problems uh, just Using the formula and whatever the contents we have given over here needed to be checked carefully. Okay, let us move on to the next problem. Okay, here. Yeah. Now, a body of mass 5 kg is placed at the origin and can move only on the x-axis. 
a force of 10 newtons is acting on it in a direction making an angle of 60 degrees with the x axis and displaces it along the x axis by 4 meters the work done by the force is okay x axis he has mentioned okay let us take this one as x axis and uh, a an object of mass 5 kg is uh, uh, resting on x axis it is 5 kg mass now the force is being applied at an angle of uh, how much is the angle given here 60 degrees with the horizontal okay this is horizontal and uh, here the angle made by the force this is the force acting over here and uh, that force made an angle of uh, 60 degrees with the x axis this 60 degrees and the displacement is made along the x direction okay how much is the displacement made over here he has given it as uh, uh, displaces it along the x axis by four meters okay displacement it is given as uh, four meters and the force is also given as 10 newtons now he asked us to work uh, find the work done by the force as i told you the work is defined as the dot product of force and displacement which is equals to fs cos theta and uh, force it is 10 newtons and uh, s for this is cos 60 degrees 10 into 4 into cos 60 it is 1 by 2 to 1s to 2s that is nothing but 20 joules this is our d option hope you got the clarity regarding the work done. Work done is defined as the dot product of force and displacement. Suppose if the force is acting at an angle theta with the horizontal or uh, in the direction of displacement, then the work done is given by the product of uh, this uh, F as cos theta. Okay. Next, let us move on to the next problem here. If the force and displacement of a particle in the direction of force are doubled, work would be, he is asking about the work, uh, a force and displacement both are doubled. Okay. Initially, let us say uh, force is F1 and displacement is S1. Then the work done W1 equals to F1, S1, uh, angle is not been mentioned, okay, we can consider in both the cases, the angle is theta only, okay, cos theta. Next, in the second case, he has told us that F2 equals to 2 F1, that is the force has been doubled, and S2 equals to 2 S1, the displacement is also doubled. Hence, the work done W2 equals to 2F1 into, basically, instead of 2F1, first of all, what we should write, uh, that is uh, F2 into S2, which equals to 2F1 into 2S1 into cos theta, that is the same one as we considered. W2 equals to 2 to 4 F1 S1 cos theta. But F1 S1 cos theta is nothing but W1. Hence, W2 equals to 4 into W1. 
Now our question is being asked is, if the force and displacement of the particle, the direction of force are doubled, work would be in the direction of force in the sense, theta is uh, zero degrees, hence uh, cos theta equals to one. Instead, even not even in the direction of force, if it is if the force is acting at an angle theta with the direction of displacement also, we can consider the same, we get the same answer, okay? I hope you people got some clarification regarding the work done on the, by a constant force on an object. The work done is given by the product of force and displacement, dot product of force and displacement, Dot product indicates the cause of the angle between the force and the displacement. Hence, uh, work done W equals to Fs cos theta. Hope you enjoyed learning this and more numericals uh, based on uh, different topics on physics are going to be dealt. These numericals are being useful for the students who are for either MSET or mains or meet. Okay, and this is Sandosh Kumar signing off from Sims Academy. Thank you.